Hey guys, it's me Surf Red here, and in this episode, we're going to go with a little bit of a different game. Um, I've never played it, um, I've actually, um, I just saw it on Steam today, I, I was scrolling through the free games, and this popped up, and I was like, well, heck, <laughs> um, let's play it, yeah, let's get going, um, um, if you, if you like it, please let me know with a, um, comment telling if you want to see any more. Um, currently, it is not, um, there's only one episode, um, so, that's good. I haven't seen a whole lot of videos on YouTube, um, I didn't watch any of them, um, so I didn't spoil anything, I won't, because, but this is the first time that I'll be playing this. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Um, <laughs> I don't know anything about the game, so... So, Milk Train Station. Do you have enough socks? You need plenty of socks, it's very cold there. Mama, you packed the suitcase yourself. It's stuffed with socks. All aboard, All aboard for Vienna, I think. Uh, you were right, your mother, won't you? Every day, Papa, I promise. You're such a liar, but I look <laughs> But I love you anyway. All aboard. Last call for Vienna. Mama, let the boy go. <laughs> hey, will you get in trouble if he's late? Wait, he will get in trouble if he's late, I think. My dear boy, take care, take care. Okay. First of all. Yes, Mama and Papa, you take care too. Take care. First of all, I want to point out that he does not look like a boy. He looks like a young man, first of all. Wilma first left them on this very train. Now me. Just want to point that out. <laughs> Vienna. I'm not going to try and do that. Okay, so Arthur's desk. His desk, okay. Um, how much music has he written in here? Okay, what about the piano? Yourself, Arthur, where are you? You asked me to come to your office. Here I am, waiting. <laughs> Maybe, at last, you want to talk about us? But you're so shy, Arthur. You don't know how to begin. Oh, don't be silly, Wilma. You keep hoping it will happen, but it never will. Okay. I'm glad you're here. I just had to see you. Sorry I'm late. Okay, so why did you want to see me, Professor? Please, call me Arthur. Why did you want to see me? Well, to be quite honest, yes. Wilma, your performance at the salon, it was quite incredible. The guests could not believe their ears. Um, I'm so glad. They want to hear more from you, Wilma. We need to keep up the momentum. How is the new composition coming along? Let's see, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm progressing. The music is so new. It entices. It challenges. I think... No, I know that we are about to achieve something great here. The future of music. Arthur, I'm, uh, we must build on the success of your performances. If we stop now, we'll squander this opportunity. We have to keep moving. Keep working. We have to establish your name. Well, um, I'm... that is... what is it? I've started composing it, but... But, oh, Arthur, I'm stuck. I'm horribly, horribly stuck. I don't know how to complete it. Wilma, don't say that. We've come so far. Everything we've worked for. 
I can't hear. I can't bear to let you down. I know what's wrong. It's the pressure from the institute. Everyone clamoring for your attention. <laughs> I was like, what? Recognizing you on the street, and even more pressure from me. Vienna is a city. We can't change that. No, it's not you, Arthur. You said it yourself. It's momentum. It's not you. No, it's not you, Arthur. You need a change. That's clear. Listen, I have a cabin in the mountains. You will be able to work there. Um... No. You've done too much for me already. No. Nonsense. What? Your teaching gilded me. Your help with the school scholarship. You need time alone. The quiet. Yes, quiet. I'll take care of your things here. I'll take care of things here. Arthur, I can't. I'm not asking. It's settled. A carriage will pick you up tomorrow. There are plenty of supplies in the cabin. Okay. Well, this is already off to a great start, isn't it? <laughs> Pack lightly. You're not bringing your old violin, are you? Of course I am. Playing that old violin relaxes me. You'll have to walk the last part of the way. It's quite a hike. I'll manage. Very well, I do think this is for the best. You will be completely alone, no distractions. Oh, oh I love this. <laughs> Somewhere in the Alps. The mountains. Almost there. Just a bit farther. Telephone poles. Just a few more steps. Cabin. Phew. Look at us. That, that's us. Oh. I have finally arrived. That's it, Arthur's cabin. Oh, Arthur, I hope so much that you're alright. And in and inspiration is waiting for me down there. Okay. Dark clouds hang over the mountains, almost as if they are waiting for something. The wind is gr growing stronger. It won't be long until the storm is here. I'd better hurry. Yeah, you better. This path leads from up here to Arthur's cabin. So dense. The trees are thick with needles. You almost can't see through. I might... I might just make it before it rains. Okay. The Lion Song, Episode 1. Silence. I made it just before the rain. Hopefully it will stop soon. This walk up here was exhausting. Phew. Alright, Wilma, it's time to unpack your bag. Okay. Where's your, your bag? I'm starving. There should be a sandwich in here somewhere. Music paper. Ah, oh, here it is. Ah, oh, a letter. Who is that from? It says, open upon arrival. My dear Wilma, I hope you had a trouble-free journey. I'm sure you have started writing already, inspired by the beautiful surroundings. However, I have a confession to make. Perhaps he has written something about us. Before you depart, your departure, I started to organize a concert at the music in Vienna, so I was able to convince a few illustrations colleagues to offer their works. I had to call in many favors, but Mr. Skonberg, Mr. Berg, and Mr. Mayerler have all agreed to participate. It will be a glorious evening, and your composition will be the centerpiece, the grand final. Wilma, imagine it. I understand that this is all very abrupt, and for that I apologize, but now is your time. The musicians start rehearsal next week. The piece must be ready by then. In anticipation of your return, Arthur. <laughs> Look at her face. <laughs> A concert? 
one week? How is this less pressure? Arthur, how could you? The storm is almost here. How am I supposed to write something if I can't go outside? I am trapped in here, with a storm outside. And within me, silence. Now what am I supposed to do? <laughs> oh, telephone. Hello? G. Tamnikto. Excuse me? Oh, German. Yes. Who is this? I, um, well, my name is Leos. Are you still there? Yes. Amazing. I wonder if... Are you close by? Where are you? Um... Um... Where are you calling from? I am in southern Bahima, and you, madam? In a cloud, I'm far away. I assure you, I'm a long way away. Ha ha ha. I never would dream... I never would have dreamt of this. I was told you can speak over long distances. But to actually hear your voice, it's amazing. I can now finally talk to my niece, Nicole. Uh huh? <laughs> what was that? Um... Nothing. <laughs> nothing, I'm sorry, my dear. But this noise is music to my ears. Um, wasn't, I, I, I didn't hear anything. I hear this noise every day, when my guests come to me with empty bellies. Are you an innkeeper, Leos? I am. Best dumplings in all of Bahina. Wonderful when they're fresh out of the pot, with a rich, hearty sauce. When you cut, when you cut into one and the steam steam comes out okay so that sounds delicious stop please you're torturing me or sounds like you are your own best customer it yeah, sounds like you're yeah you're right but I'm the cook <laughs> I have to taste them <laughs> I wish I had some right some here right now of course you wish that oh ho ho I apologize. It sounds like you are very hungry. It was a pleasure talking to you, madam. Uh, huh. I am very sorry. Where are my manners? I didn't even ask your name. Uh, it's Wilma. Wi Wilma? Uh, Wilma, it was a pleasure to speak with you. Say, do you think we could talk again sometime soon? They gave me a number, 1255. Maybe. I hope so. Um, thank you for your call. Goodbye, Wilma. Okay. Time for my sandwich. <laughs> oh, wait. It's right there. It may not be a dumpling, but it tastes delicious. I'm sure it does. I am so tired. It was just too much for my first day. <laughs> so she just falls asleep. That's funny. Outside, behind the buildings, the sun is rising. Beside Wilma, some someone stirs. What? 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 Um, okay. Well, I'm gonna leave this part here, guys. If you liked it, please let me know with a like, comment, subscribe, uh, feedback, everything like that. Um, if you want to see more of this, please let me know, and I will definitely do that. Oh, he's starting to talk. He's starting to talk. Uh-oh, we better get going. Um, anyway, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye, guys.